Offset Cut has been updated slightly, and you no longer need to enable experimental features in the add-on press to use it. The tool will be immediately shown in the menu as soon as Mesh Machine is installed. Also, when invoking the tool, the width of the offset is now initialized in a way that ensures it actually fits your selection, so it is based on the dimensions of your selected edges. Of course, you can still change it afterwards to whatever size you need in the redo panel. For example, here is a much smaller object now, and if you do another offset cut, you can see right away, the width is about right. It is now roughly 10 times smaller than what it was before. Also, if you ever notice something like this happening, usually at smaller scales, it means the cut failed. You can try to wiggle it or play with the precision and either one may work. But more often than not, the best choice is to simply switch to the exact solver. And let's go even smaller now. And yet again, the initial width of the offset is about 10 times smaller than before. You can see how at this sub-centimeter scale, the fast solver completely falls apart. And there's the suggestion to use the exact solver instead. If we go even smaller now, down to sub-millimeter cuts, the perspective view will start to clip. And so I lower the clip start value via machine tools in my case, so I can get closer to the mesh. I offset cut, and again the initial width is automatically determined to be sensible for my selection at this scale. And even at this microscopic size, the cut works with the exact solver, but then of course completely falls apart with the fast solver. Finally, if you want to continue with this, it's always a good idea to follow up with the Boolean cleanup tool, which simplifies merging situations like these.